what's going on guys it's been some time i know so i want you guys to hear me out so let me get this off my chest first before we jump in who don't watch this intro they're not gonna know what's going on this is the reason why i do intros to my videos if you've already jumped to go watch the episodes fine let me relax <laughs> I'm about to tell you guys right now. Okay, so Slam Dunk is going to continue on the channel, no doubt about that. But the thing I want to address is, um, <clears throat> I am not having issue with. Let me get that <clears throat> with the these reactions or putting out these reactions. I don't have no issues with that. Um, it's gonna take me a little bit to get back to where i was where i was doing you know two maybe four episodes going out on um early reactions because i was really right there and then i got interrupted by what i had to do so apologize for that so it's gonna take me a while to get there early access people just hold on to your horses we'll be right back there soon enough I don't know how many people is really watching on early access at least I'm going I think it's like maybe like one person really watches my early access videos for slam dunk but that's okay we're gonna try to get back on track um the episode after you guys have said that it's a filler so I'm not even gonna try to watch it or anything to see what happened I'm just gonna be blind going into this to what happens next and going back to the canon episode so it's one episode filler so we're gonna jump into the next one so if anybody asks where is episode this and that and whatever and they don't know about the series that's what it is it is a filler everybody has tell, told me as much so i don't have to watch it so we're gonna jump into the next one so without no further ado let's go watch these two next episodes of slam dunk it is time to get back on, get back on the journey. I'm ready. Hope you guys are ready too. Let's do it. Here we go. I'll see you guys for the review. I could have watched 47. Because these two episodes was just a continuation of what was happening in the so-called filler. Um, I don't understand why it was called filler. In my opinion, I could have reacted to it because... But I didn't. Um, as I said, it didn't feel like filler to me because I had to go back and watch the episode. My hair is a mess. I'm trying to grow my hair out so I can wolf it back. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah man it's it, it's such a an issue when it comes on to to filler and canon and and stuff like that because i, I you know what i'm saying there was a lot of stuff there was a lot of context towards certain things you know what i'm saying like you know i watched every episode all 500 episodes of naruto shippuden right even though it was a lot of filler I watched every single episode. Now, if I go back and watch a series, of course, I'm not. I'm not going to watch every single episode. But the first time through, I watched every single episode, even if um, what was going on and Return to Canon or whatever. I would still go back and watch the filler episodes once they're out because waiting every week for filler is not. It's not cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Once they get back to canon, I will go back and binge watch the filler stuff. Because there's a lot of times that in filler, a lot of stuff was like... I don't know what they call it. I think they call it filler canon or canon filler. It's like a hybrid of both. Um, because there's a lot of stuff that happened in filler episodes were referenced in canon episodes. And you're like, why is it called filler? You know what I'm saying? Like, you... Um... Um dude that had the i think it was the six tail if i'm not mistaken i think it was yeah i think it was the dude that had the six tail i think his name was ukataka um like you wouldn't know about ukataka unless you watch the filler episodes with ukataka and why when they met up in the canon when when um when naruto met up with him i saw him for the first time in 
canon episodes and and was like you know what i'm saying their greeting was like i already know who he is <laughs> you know what i'm saying like naruto was like i already know him and you you just watching the canon episodes would never know how Naruto and Ukataka met. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would have never known that they had... You get what I'm saying? You would have been like, how does Naruto know him? You know what I'm saying? So, to me, sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what is filler, what is canon. But I enjoyed these three episodes nonetheless. 49 kind of wrapped it up. Um, so, yeah, man, we're back on the slam dunk um train here full steam ahead shoku versus the one and only kainen and they're a beast of a team um they don't even i mean you're in the semifinals not playing your starters that's bold that's bold you know what i'm saying that is bold the disrespect is real but in any case, I still liked it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They're going to come out full strength against Shoku, though, for sure. They're coming out full strength. So that was a nice little mini story of showing, you know, one of Sakuragi's old friends who plays basketball and stuff like that. And basically, he played through an injury, so props out to him. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that was cool, man. Um, you can have a lot of guts, you know what I'm saying, and you're praised actually in in real life, in real NBA, you're praised for playing through injuries. You know that used to happen a lot back in the day, but but nowadays, not so much. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, not so much because there's a lot more people. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to protect the players a lot more these days because when players are out, when they get bad injuries. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, that means that, you know, fans don't come to games and stuff like that. I know that's not an issue now because there's no fans at the stadiums right now. But at the same time, it affects the bottom line when when players are injured. It does because, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you're not going to have, you know, if, 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 if fans know that a certain player is not going to play, they prop most most of the time, most of the time, people are not going to show up to support the team as much because if the star player is out, you know, they're not going to show up that much. I mean, it's sad to say, but that's the reality of it. Um, so props out to him, man. Um, I think in dire situations, a player's player could fight through an injury, but at the same time, it's a very risky thing to do as an athlete no matter what kind of athlete you are well except stuff like curling and stuff stuff like that is just trash anyways <laughs> those people who call themselves athletes i'm like what are you doing what what athletic ability does it take to do what you do huh huh <laughs> tell me anyways anyways guys see i'm really rough around the edges man i'm i'm sorry guys but you know what i'm saying like i'm not i'm not you know, I'm not going to tell you that this is going to go go away anytime soon because at the current moment, what I'm trying to do is grow my hair out. Um, so I'm trying to do something different. I know, yeah, you know I'm saying I want to get something where I can pull my hair back like this. Um, so I want to grow it long enough. I know eventually, but maybe I'll get a man bun. No, never get a man button. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, it was great watching these two episodes back in the saddle. I'm going to try to get two more episodes out to you guys on Thursday and then drop an extra two on early access. So I appreciate you guys so much, man. Stay tuned. There's more to come. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace.